So we're here in the dead of winter, and it's a definitely a pretty view that I've got behind me, but it's also very cloudy. And it's been raining, and one question looms. Should I turn on the lights inside of my greenhouse? Let's go check it out. So I'm growing hydroponic lettuce in, inside this greenhouse using a floating raft technique hydroponic system. And the lettuce doesn't really need a whole bunch of light. It actually only needs about 300 ppfd. That's like the max that it can use at a time which is just a fancy technical term for how much energy the plants get from the light for photosynthesis. And I have a light meter, it's called the APM 130 from Amazon, that's designed to read how many photons are actually hitting the plant, or the sensor in this case, each second, which is essentially called PPFD. Now I'm no light meter expert, and I'm not trying to like fake it or anything, but essentially, the higher the number on, the, on that meter, the more energy the plants have available to them. So without any further delay, let's get this meter and see what it reads on this cloudy, dark day. Now, oh, this, this PAR meter is actually pretty sweet because it allows me to move this sensor around because it's kind of remote and to be able to find the light source. So you essentially need to point this right at the light source in order to get the highest reading. And then this is the reading it reads in, if you can read that, uh, micromoles per square meter per second, which is fancy sounding, but it's not really if you try to think about it, but it, I'm not gonna try to explain it. It's just this number, we wanna be at least 300, otherwise we're gonna have to turn on the grow lights. At least 150, 150 to 300 for lettuce. So let's see where we're at. So I'm trying to find the sun, which is kind of difficult to do on this cloudy day. And once I once this is pointed directly at the sun, it'll be the highest reading. And that looks like it's it. So we're sitting about 122, 123, which is way lower than the 150 or even the 300 for optimal growth. This thing's pretty cool though. I wanna test it next to a sunny window, a southern facing window for those of you who do not use any grow lights. And so stay tuned for videos like that. I'm also gonna test uh, those grow lights. And then I've got a bunch of other ones, a bunch of cheap ones off Amazon that I'm gonna test. So that was actually pretty shocking results. I was not expecting that. I was expecting more uh, light coming through here. I guess we'll have to turn these lights on if we want to see any growth. So that's really good to know. I hope it was helpful for you too. So let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section and please like and subscribe if you want to see more light video testing like this. I might want to do next to a sunny window, sunny south facing window for those of you who do not use grow lights. 